Don't mess around here with uh, some of these Opti Sparks here. Trying to figure out how to uh, bench test them and threw together a little rig. So this is my uh, bench top programming harness I built. And uh, what I did was I added two wires to the high and, res high and low resolution signal. Which runs over to that connector there that then plugs into the Opti Spark. And the other two wires simply provide power, which is all off of this car battery. And then plug into the diagnostic port. I have my Tech 2 on data mode, where I can watch the uh, low res and high res signal. So now if I spin this. You can see when it's moving. I do get a pulse on the low res, and it says yes to high res. This thing keeps doing that. So, really want to get nuts with it. Put a uh, drill on that. So, I guess that's like a quick way of determining if the optical sensor is good or not. You would lose one of those uh, signals if it isn't. And uh, I just tried all these different optics I have laying around here. I have a whole box of them. They all appear to have good sensors. So, that's a good thing. Uh, maybe what I'll do is see if I can assemble this one here. You know, without the cover on it and see if we can test with that one. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so. We got this loosely thrown together. And you can see. Alright, now it'll work. So we got no and no pulse. I'm not sure when the higher resolution one kicks off. Maybe just once it starts seeing it, it keeps counting it. I don't know. But what's also neat is you can go to the top of this list. And you can see the engine speed, which is calculated off of this apparently. I guess that just shows further that it is actually reading correctly. So, this is a good sensor. I'm going to try it out in a car and see how it does. But, um, I mean, this works, you know, pretty decent for bench testing these things if you got a lot of them like I do. Just got to sift through all the faults in here and... <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, blew past it. Anyways. So, yeah, that's a pretty basic way of testing it. So I'm going to uh, end up trying this sensor on the car. And uh, I think it'll be okay. We got a uh, Roadmaster now with a... Uh, aftermarket opti in it and the thing constantly throws code so i'm just going to take that opti apart and stick that sensor in it because this opti spark i bought used is someone screwed with it and uh, like this disc the holes in the middle are all wanged out so you can't time it correctly so i'll salvage some parts and get that going and i don't know how many people have a tech too this is one of those aftermarket uh like clone ones off the internet but if you have any kind of data logging software for the uh, ALDL cable there, that would work too. Alright, so that's a quick way how to test those.